After a long day of working with Natalie, you know I need one thing to get me through the afternoon. Yeah, little Joe, pardon me. So here's the thing, I haven't brushed my teeth since last night. I have had uh, two coffees, I have swollen tonsils, and I have white gunk on my tongue. Let's see now whether I pass the bad breath test. Come on. Stick your tongue out and hold your breath like this. Open a little wider, stick your tongue out, that's a clean straw. You want to be below 100. Your breath is very good. Look at that, 42. You have excellent breath. Yeah, you're pretty good. Wow, you only hit about 30, 35. Great, that was your yeah. high. I'm trying to, you yeah, know, good. I'm trying no. to take care of business. I am chewing Orbit bubble mint, so I would have bubble gum we breath. Oh, close. Well, 43, 43, not bad. I am ready, dog. Okay, I'm gonna get it to zero here. Stick your tongue out and hold your breath. Oh my gosh, we're, we're flying here. Uh, 89, 93, 96, 100. Uh, you hit one, oh, it's still going up. <laughs> Gonna break my machine. 123. What, come on. 123, yeah. 123? Yeah, 123. That's legally, I think, uh, decomposing. Isn't well, it? well you, you mentioned a few problems. The coffee is very acidic. It stimulates the bacteria. Sure. Uh, tea is a much better choice. But you mentioned things about large tonsils. Totally. People trap these anaerobic bacteria in their tonsils, and that's what produces those chemicals. Dry mouth is the biggest problem. Uh, and that could be from not drinking enough water, from being diabetic, or from medications. 75% of prescription medication has dry mouth as a side effect. Mm. So if your viewers are taking antihistamines or antidepressants or high blood pressure medicine, make sure they drink at least six to eight glasses of water a day. Very important. Also, when they brush, they should brush their tongue because that's where the bacteria actually live. Your tongue is more or less like those shag carpets from the 70s. So would you say with, with what I scored on here, the odds of me actually kissing someone here are, are not looking good? Unless you find someone else's bad breath. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> see how your tongue is nice and pink? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if your tongue is pink, that's very good. That's a sign you have a lot of saliva. Saliva is nature's way of keeping your breath fresh when you're around the baby. So drinking water is very helpful. It helps to replenish saliva. Very good. What's your secret? You have good breath, sir. I mean, do you do breath mints? Do you brush your teeth? What do you what, what kind? Brushing like it regularly helps, you know, a few times a day. Yeah, do you floss? Flossing, yeah. Yeah, that's very and, important. Uh, what are you drinking? Coke. Coke, with sugar or without? With. With sugar, well, that's I a test. problem. Yeah, you could probably do a little bit better if you avoided the sugar. Sugar feeds the bacteria that cause bad breath. Okay. So your gum is sugar-free, which is good. Right, but this, but I'm not drinking sugar-free drinks because okay. of all the chemicals. Yeah, that's also true. But right. be very careful, Altoids, for example, have two types of sugar in there. It's not good for your no, breath. I don't. Uh, 82, a little borderline there. Are you stressed at all? No, I'm on vacation, actually. Oh, you're on vacation, okay. I am, yeah. Yeah, because stress can give people bad breath. Uh, when you're under stress, your mouth becomes more dry. So uh, you pass. So I guess you're not stressed. You are on vacation. Oh, good.